Psalm 63 is a difficult one for scholars to classify. It covers an awful lot of territory, but one thing the psalmist really wants to do is establish a, uh, a relationship and a communication with God. And I'm thankful that Ron chose that particular message today, passage to share, because it really uh, speaks to what I think we need to be grounded in our relationship with God as always. So thank you to Ron from the Liberty Pole Church for sharing some thoughts today and for his good wishes. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ron Slack. I'm here uh, talking to Pastor Pam. And this is uh, Psalm 63. O oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land, for there is no water. To see thy power and thy glory, as I see in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kinship is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I be blessed thee while I will. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul follows hard after thee, my right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall, they shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouths of them that speak lies shall be stopped. This has been a very tough time all over for uh, lots of people we still have to be strong and believe in God and uh, keep faith in him and uh, do right by him and this shall pass may not be today maybe not be next week but it will pass and we will get through this thank you